I'm Jerry Spate, a professor of art at Murray State University, and I have with me today Z.B. Zemetna, who's also a professor of art here at Murray State. And what we're going to do, we're looking at Young Ho's show that he installed here. And Young Ho is a professor of art at uh, Taegu University in Taegu, Korea. He installed this show in November of 2000 here at Murray State University in Murray, Kentucky. I taped the show just to have a copy for our department and for my students to see. And then I told uh, Young Ho that I would give him a copy, and so I enlisted ZB's uh, assistance in uh, the voiceover. So uh, ZB uh, wrote the critical commentary along with, did you work with Peggy Sharp yes. on this? So, and, and when Young Ho takes his tape back home, he'll remember these names. So what we're going to do, where we are, we're in the upper level of the Clarion Eagle Art Gallery here at Murray State University in Murray, Kentucky. And I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk you through the show, and ZB's going to help me as much as possible, and we're going to do this very informally because we, we did not practice this. So, um, ZB, this is the south wall, and there's, of course, the artist's name, just information on the tape. I'm going to take a 360 here just to show the uh, actual physical layout. This is kind of an unusual gallery. Mm -hmm. You know, when we travel around, we see the facility we have here is pretty amazing. That's the side gallery on the east wall. and drops down physically. Now I'm swinging around to the north wall. That actually, the, those doors there stay locked for security, but that goes out to drawing and painting. And then identical, this gallery is symmetrical. Uh, on the other side, on the west wall, there is also a lower wing. So Young Ho has art installed in this solid white space with the, uh, I think, gray carpeting, right? I mm -hmm. believe that's correct. So the, the uh, installation is, or the show is entitled Stroke, Sky, and Skeletons. That's the largest piece, and he's kind of uh, uh, featured this piece on the south wall. And I guess we're going to start with this painting right here. These are on canvas, stretched? Yes. And are they all or acrylic? Do you remember? I think that it's all acrylic. Oh, it's acrylic, right? Okay. Um, what, uh, one thing is, I mean, it, it, it um, as much as we can talk about um, each piece separately, uh, it may be interesting. Uh, people will see that there is a certain thematic uh, repetition. Uh, either uh, Junko deals with kind of mark making uh, these. Uh, of different types, uh, either black marks or grayish marks on white um, background. That's kind of something that he uh, was exploring while working on this particular show. Here's an example of it on different scale, maybe, than the uh, largest piece in the show. Some of these pieces are very different scales. But um, that's one kind of theme that he wor works on. Uh, and another theme are larger kind of abstract color compositions, uh, which is something that he was doing uh, already before he came to the United States. And uh, kind of third theme uh, are skulls, uh, kind of very simply, almost crudely painted uh, in colors uh, skulls, uh, there's a piece on the back wall that we will eventually see. And so overall, he's kind of playing with, or exploring, I should say better, um, kind of the effect that different um, essentially abstract painting have on uh, the viewer. Um, although, uh, with all the seeming abstraction, um, a lot of times he would allow himself, Jung Ho, to combine the marks into something uh, recognizable, be it a human figure, be it a bowl-like um, feature. This is one of the uh, kind of older, uh, stylistically older uh, paintings, with large fields of color. Um, I should uh, say for those who don't know, Janko was trained both in Korea and in the United States in uh, Pratt Institute in New York, um, I believe in 80s, and some of the kind of modernist tendencies of um, let's say American uh, New York school of uh, 60s, even 70s um, affected uh, 
uh, his style, but um, he kind of seems to me and, and to Peggy that he kind of took uh, the influences and made them very much his own.